scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a new Stash Bash layout. So you will see here that I have pulled out a few supplies that I don't really use often. First is this, um, this product called the Stampy Roar and I actually got that for free from an Etsy store and I'm not really sure if she's still around and I'm awful because she asked me to do a product review and this was like two years ago that she asked me to do a product review and I don't think I ever posted the video like I did it and I rendered it but something must have happened and I didn't post it. So I'm kind of upset at myself, but I will try to find her shop and I hope against all hope that she's still in business and making these things because they are awesome. It's a, it's kind of like a Misty or a Tim Holtz stamp platform and it's a little bit more affordable. So here you can see I am stamping up my stamp and this is the stamp of the month over at Close to My Heart. I think it was actually the May stamp of the month I want to say so I'm not sure if it's still the stamp of the month for June but I really wanted to play with this one because it was new and I just thought it was so cute and I had recently um, taken a new class at Big Picture Classes and I will try to remember to link the class below, but it's, I think it was called Critter Class or something like that. And it was a card class. And she talks about watercoloring um, and stuff like that. And so I kind of was using a few of the techniques that she had taught us in the class. And I kind of started freaking out because I got some of that re-inker on my nice new uh, wood platform that my husband made me. So I was like, ah! Anyway, so now I'm going to ink this up. The stamp or the ink pad was getting really dry. So the first time I stamped it, it wasn't very good. So I'm going to stamp it a few other times here. And I am going to do three different versions of this. Um, let's see this uh, stamp. I'm going to try it on just a regular stamp block and then I don't know. I think I do it on a regular stamp block uh, two times. And I'm going to use the Stampin' Up stamp mat. And that is kind of supposed to help your stamps come out more crisp, I think. I don't really know. I'm not a huge stamper, but our challenge this month was to do stamping. Okay, so now here you can see I am using a small brush and I was thinking I wanted to do an ombre look and I'm going to have this kind of be like there's lemonade in this mason jar. And so I wanted to do kind of like the, the ombre because you know how when you make lemonade it kind of settles on the bottom? So that was my idea. So I'm going to use three different brushes. The first one was just a really small brush. This one is my close to my heart water brush um, that I bought and I really like this one and I like how this one turned out a little bit better. I was able to control the water and the ink a little bit more. And so I'm just going to do that one and then I'm going to pull out a thicker brush and here you can see that that one I think works out the best. I was able to control the the ombre look a little bit better but I did kind of go over the edge a little bit which I was trying not to but it's okay it works out in the end. Um, I add a little bit more with not so much water on the bottom and then I kind of work my way up. Okay, so now here it's the next day. I think I let this dry overnight and what I'm going to do is use my ink pad and this is in Saffron which is a close to my heart ink pad and this is one of their new ink pads which I know have been out for probably like a year or more and I just kept putting off buying them and I don't know why because they're amazing they're magnetic 
ladies. They're magnetic. Oh my gosh, if you don't have them in your life, you need them. So here I'm doing the ghosting stamping, and I'm also doing the, the first impression stamping as well. But I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of, oh my goodness, kind of, kind of. I thought it would be fun to use the these two stamps. And I'm also going to bring in this lemon because I was like, well, duh, why wouldn't I use this, this full lemon? But then I was like, well, you wouldn't put a full lemon without cutting it up, right? Into slices or whatever. So <laughs> I kind of stopped with that idea and went back to the half, half lemons and then the, the full lemons. And I think it's actually probably supposed to be an orange, but you know, I'm, I'm going with it. I'm working with it. And I really love how this all three of these turned out. I I am going to use all three of them on something. Um, but in the end, I'm only going to use one and I'm going to make a card. So I'm going to show you how that turns out. Okay, so here you can see I kind of came up with this idea that I'm going to cut out all of those, um, those extra pieces of uh, lemon that I kind of stamped on the white paper and here I'm thinking I'm going to stick this one up here on this top. So I'm cutting out part of that top piece to make it so that I can stick that lemon in there. And I really love how that turned out. That was like really high pitched, really love. <laughs> um, but so I'm going to spend a little bit of time cutting out some more of these lemons and I'm going to put them on, um, on top here on some of these and that one to the left is the one that I'm going to end up using on the card. I'm pretty sure that's the one I really ended up liking. Okay so now here you can see I've pulled out this green sheet of paper and I am going to cut it down to a 4 by 6 size and I'm going to use this stamp that says, I think it says ink, drink, barbecue. So I'm pulling out this stamp pad and it's called Emerald and I'm actually going to try stamping three different colors. So I think I bought five colors um, of these new inks or the new ink pads and this one is called Raspberry. I'm also, I think I'm going to try a blue and that one's called Pacifica and I think I'm going to go with the blue one. Yep, so there, I'm going to stamp it there, and then I'm going to put the um, the lemonade mason jar on the card, and I'm going to pop it up on some fun foam. And I apologize about my dogs, they're making a lot of noise, of course, because why not? <laughs> so there, I'm just using my Tombow adhesive, and I'm going to add a little bit more reinforcement there. And then I'm going to, hey, dog eats. Sorry. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to glue it down. And I really, really love how this turns out. So I'm going to cut up some more of these lemons. And I think I'm going to stamp the little lemon um, actually on the um on the actual card itself. So here I'm going to put some of those lemons down there and then that's pretty much going to be my card. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this was only one card and it probably should have only taken me like five minutes to make, but it took me probably an hour. So there you can see I am stamping on the card and I really do love how this turns out. Make sure you head on over to Beth's channel and check out what she made using stamps. And I will be back soon. Thanks so much for watching, ladies. I'll see you next time. Bye.